In this video, I will show you how to set up your React Native development on Ubuntu. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So uh, first, let's search on the Chrome uh, React Native Setup. Now uh, click on this Setup Your Environment. And uh, yeah, here all talk which you will require uh, to install and set up your React Native. Either you can follow this talk, yeah, you can follow me. Okay, so uh, let us start with updating our environment. Okay, the sudo apt update. So, yeah, this command is updating the list of software and tools available for our system. Yeah, it makes sure we get the latest version uh, when we install something. Okay, yeah, it will it will take a bit time. Okay, now we need to install a uh, Node.js and npm. So, uh, sudo apt install Node.js npm. Yeah, now it's installing. Uh, node.js and npm uh, actually npm uh, npm is used to install extra tool or packages that we will need for uh, react native and node.js help us to run javascript uh, outside the browser okay so yeah these are the required uh, things for our uh, set up our react native okay so yeah it will take some time okay yeah uh, is it is installed successfully so for to check this let's check the version so note minus v yeah it's showing its version same to forward npm yeah so if version is showing that means it's inst installed successfully okay now uh, we need to install java jdk okay so sudo apt install open jdk 17 jdk okay Uh, here we are installing Java, uh, which we need to build an Android app. So React Native we used to run our project on uh, Android device. As I have already installed it, so that's why it quickly get completed. So now let's check the uh, version of Java. So if you see the version info, that means you are good to go. Now let's install Watchman. So sudo apt install Watchman. So uh, this tool is called Watchman. It keep an eye on our files, and when we make changes, uh, it helps React Native to reload the app quickly. Yeah. Now come back to this talk. As we have uh, installed the dependency node, this uh, Java development kit, uh, Android development, uh, like yeah. Now we need to uh, install this Android Studio. So go to uh, its official link. Yeah and now uh, click on this button download now you will have to uh, just uh, scroll it down and uh, uh, click on this term and condition button and click download yeah downloading has started so uh, it will take some time so uh, i will come back once it will get completed yeah now uh, it's completed successfully so uh, go to this download folder okay for to see the recent uh, download you will have to use this command ls minus lrt yeah this uh, android tar, tar file is here so you will have to untar it for that you will have to run this command sudo tar minus xvf and uh, copy this tar file and paste it here and then minus c then opt yeah so uh, it will extract this tar file okay it will take a while Uh, now uh, cd over this opt folder then uh, go inside android studio then inside bin and here you will have to run stdio.h script file uh, it will launch our uh, android studio yeah it's launching click on next 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 then finish and then finish yeah yeah it's set up successfully android studio is open now uh, we want to do coding in this android studio uh, just close it as i have already mentioned uh, it uh, gives some tool to use in react native okay yes. mm, now open a bash file there is a bash file you will have to open it and modify that bash file okay so nano and run this command bash dot bash rc yeah and uh, go to down 
of this file yeah here here uh, this last two line uh, you are seeing uh, you will have to add it like i have already installed android uh, that's why uh, these two line i have already added like this two line export android home and uh, this android home okay yeah this last two line you will need to add this i will give you uh, this text file in the description of this video okay you can just copy and paste here now uh, run this command source in this tilde symbol dot bash rc yeah okay now uh, see the adb version and write debug bridge actually it is yeah it's set up successfully yeah now you are all uh, done one more thing you would need to install react native cli okay so just run this command npm install minus g react native cli yeah it's installed like 46 package are looking for funding yeah, it's installed actually maybe i have already installed that's why this kind of message is showing here now uh, see the version of this react native yeah it's showing 2.0.1 so i think we are done now uh, we will create a project of react native so just cd over this desktop folder now if you have created any folder go in that i am going to create uh, that app inside this youtube and i am going to create a just folder text test cd over this test and now uh, run this command npx react native init and the project name what you want to give okay so it will initialize your react native project okay actually this command is uh, deprecated so that's why it's showing like this just copy this command and paste it here and uh, now it uh, give a project name like whatever you want to give i'm giving here my project my first app okay so yeah it's installing yeah it will take a while so just wait it's installing dependencies yeah it's completed now uh, go inside uh, this my first app folder and now here you need to run uh, emulator so for that you will have to run this command npx react native run android so uh, it will start a emulator for uh, our android project to run on so here you are seeing a mobile screen is showing on the desktop so this is yeah it's opened now uh as you uh, we have given the yeah it's completed now now uh you need to run this project on uh this emulator so for that you will have to run this command npx react native start now this my first app this project will start on our emulator so yeah it's loading let it load you can press r for to reload our app yeah it will take a file don't worry okay just uh, uh delete this tab like remove this tab and open a new tab delete it scroll up you can see my first app icon with name my first app is showing here you can just click on that and uh, yeah my initial project is showing this is our uh, starting page of our react native project okay you can do modification based on your requirement so we are all good to go so yeah this is enough for this video thank you